YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a pretty massive video. We are going to look at how one of our viewers made 3 million coins in just a few minutes on FIFA 23. It's not cap. It is using one of the methods we have talked about previously this year in FIFA. We're also going to be looking at FIFA investments and some team of the season leaks. Big things are leaked to be coming, so we'll take a peek at that. But before we do that, we got to look at content today on Wednesday. If you want to have millions of coins in FIFA 23 like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA coins. Make sure you use code TEDDY at checkout to get 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Wednesday was a little exciting. We're going to talk about it and look at the loading screen real quick as we, you know, load in. Content, we got the usual Bundesliga team of the season upgrade SBC as expected loading screen as well for La Liga team of the season. If, if you see right below me, it says daily icon SBCs. My webcam kind of blocks it, but daily icon SBCs, like we talked about previously, it was leaked that we are getting them. Last night's video, we mentioned that. And uh, it looked like Vinicius Jr. was one of those cards. The left midfielder had five-star weak foot. So are we getting a five-star, five-star Vinicius Jr.? That could be crazy. It looked like Benzema as well. I think the Benzema, the center forward, could be glizzy. But I'm guessing it's Benzema had five-star skill move. So pretty interesting there. Could be some cracked. I, I, I think La Liga team this season might be really, really exciting. But Guerrero, we got the Guerrero SBC. We knew this was expected fairly cheap and he you know doesn't really look that bad a lot of positions he can play as well center mid left mid left back left wing back and i mean his stats really not too shabby i guess his physical is one of the only things somewhat lacking but he does have 93 stamina so it'll last the whole game decent card nothing too crazy there and i want i haven't seen any leaks about this i've seen absolutely nothing but i do want to mention people in my stream were saying hey teddy it looks like the uh, daily login upgrade is coming out again so if we get another one of these soon where we can get another like team of the season player pack or something that'd be awesome so hopefully that is true i don't know it's just what my viewers on stream were telling me continuing through we got the where is the bundesliga upgrade bundesliga team of the season upgrade sbc and this made fodder rise 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 oh my goodness 85s at content we saw I always tell you guys this, when you see a fodder requirement for an SBC, the way you're going to see fodder rise is when a specific rating is required. 83 overall squad, what do you need? Two 85s minimum. When you see one minimum required, like if it was 185 minimum required, it's not that crazy. What you need is two. When you see the two minimum requirement, that's where you really start to see cards rise a lot in price. And we looked at content, I think 85s were down. They were below 7,000 coins. I think they were closer to like 6,500 coins. And we just looked real quick at content. I was like, yeah, 85s are going to rise. I, I think they'll go back to 8,000 coins, maybe maybe more than that. And um, I was a little bit off. Hold on, Brooks calling me. I was a little bit off. They, if you can see right here, I'm filming a YouTube video. I'll call you back in like 10 minutes. Love you, bye. Okay. I'm too good at this. So as you can see here, they are 11,000 coins. Some of them are upwards to around 12,000 coins. So 85s went to the absolute moon. And there are actually a few people that invested in these 85s. I mean, I told you guys prices to be buying the cards at. So if you chose to buy 85s from watching these YouTube videos, you got very lucky. Because like we always say, you know, I'll, I'll give you guys, I try to give a bunch of fodder ratings and like what I like for prices. And then you guys can choose and I'll, I'll give my input on what rating I like the most and I was kind of somewhat going into it blindish this week because I mean we really didn't know exactly what we were going to see requirement wise but I know a lot of people picked up some of these Bundesliga 85s just because of the fact that with the SBC that we got the team of season challenge there was a lot of supply on Bundesliga cards Bundesliga fodder was very low so a lot of people were picking up this Gulakski for super cheap same with the 83s. 83s, I tipped Angelino and the other one, Hirodeki. They were like a thousand coins. If you look at 83s, they rose as well. And they are currently up at, I think, like 2,000, 2,300. So doubling our coins there. Really good stuff with fodder. And um, also, this SPC caused like, there was like slight panic on a couple Bundesliga team of the season cards. Nothing too crazy with this pack. And as we did say as well, with like high meta cards, 
they usually rise when these kind of when this SBC comes out. We saw it with Premier League. We're kind of seeing it with Bundesliga team of the season as well because, you know, no one's going to be packing Goretzka. No one's going to be packing uh, Jude Bellingham. No one's going to be packing Musiala. So we're seeing those kind of cards rising in the lower tier. Those are the ones that had a bit more panic. And yeah, it's as simple as that. You are seeing some of the low, low, the, the crappy team of the season Bundesliga cards rising. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But that's what we got there. And moving on through content, we actually got another SBC that was very unexpected. I don't think anyone saw this coming, especially because we already kind of have the SBC. But it is a Team of the Week SBC. Bit random. It refreshes in two weeks. And yeah, it's tradable. So kind of just... It was a bit confusing, but it's tradable. And uh, this, you know, brought some supply to the market. We saw Team of the Weeks come down in price. Getting on bids for Team of the Weeks was actually pretty easy. And it was, there were definitely some decent areas around the market where you could be looking to invest. Like 87 overall Team of the Weeks were close to this guard around like 11, 11, 5. So that was interesting. Also, if you were looking to maybe buy some cards for la liga the objective so like a team of the week pedri a team of the week dembele stuff like that we saw a little bit of a dip so there were some areas where people were, were picking up cards and getting some decent deals on bid but it wasn't anything too insane like crazy market crash on team of the weeks it did bring supply though so like discard team of the weeks are back at a very very low price so there's that with team of the weeks now i want to mention before we go into the rest of the video uh i got robbed by ea if you can see my record right here i went 17 and 0 i was 17 and 0 i've never gotten rank one in fifa i've never gone 20 and 0 and um i had three games left an hour and a half left to play what happened ea decided to do a fifa maintenance before weekend league even finished and um yeah here we are 17 and 0 hour and 22 minutes left and boom matchmaking disabled i couldn't play but i want to mention this three million coins in just a few minutes guys that's not cap that is no caparino it is truo so if you're in my vip trading discord i've told you guys in the in the past and we've posted multiple videos about this i need to turn my webcam off i think for a second so you can see you'll you see the alfonso davies right there Whenever there is FIFA maintenance, when the servers go down, if you are one of the last people to bid on a card right before the servers go down, you win that card. It's as simple as that. So if there's a team of the year Messi on bid for 400K, 200K, and you're one of the last ones to bid on it, if you, no, you're not one of, if you are the last one to bid on it before the servers go down, that Messi is yours for 200,000 coins. And you'll see right here in a second what happened with Alfonso Davies. But before what i was saying in my vip trading discord whenever ea tweets out or i see a notification that the servers are going down i let you guys know hey the servers are going down try to get on bids at so and so time or whatever it may be so check this out i'm going to turn my webcam off for a second and keep in mind this alfonso davies goes for 300,000 coins and where's my webcam my webcam is right there ready here we go alfonso davies I think you can still hear me when my webcam's off. You should be able to. 49K Alfonso Davies, 65, 69, 66, 67, 41, 43, 47, 48, 45, 105, 44, 45, 79, 49, 65, 52. And I think that was it. I, at the time when he won these cards, I think Alfonso Davies may have been closer to 350. I'm not too sure. And I haven't even taken the time to do the math myself in my head to see how much he actually made. He has more cards below as well. Like I'm sure he got some Kaylor Navases and stuff on bid for cheaper, but I don't know how much he made exactly. He could, I'm just taking his word for it that he made around three mil. But I mean, you can see right there, he's getting Alfonso Davies for 45K on bid, 40K on bid. But the dude sells for 300K. So he's making like 250K per card on some of these Alfonso Davies. That's, that's insane. That is ridiculous. So that is what trading with FIFA maintenance can be like. And that is the 3 million coin profit in literally just like a few minutes. It's as simple as that. You spend maybe like, 
I mean, it, it's really just a short amount of time when you're really doing the bids, but it's gonna take you like 20 to 30 minutes to find some stuff or, or look at what you wanna bid on. So probably like half an hour, maybe max of just watching the bids and boom, crazy deals, ridiculous. So I wanted to show that, shout out to that guy, I incredible. There's a ton of other stuff like that as well. If you're in my VIP Discord, if you're in my Discord, just look at VIP profits. Anyone can look at it. It just shows the profit from the VIP Discord. Crazy deals. There were a lot of cards, a lot of deals that happened. So. Now that that's out of the way, I want to talk about fodder. Let's just update fodder real quick. You should be selling your fodder. You know, it's Wednesday. A lot of your stuff is up in price. We showed the 85s, the 83s, 84s are up as well. Everything is up in price. You should be selling your fodder. The only fodder I would look to be holding is high rated fodder. When I mean high rated fodder, I'm thinking, I mean, you could maybe hold 87s, you can maybe hold 88s, but I'm thinking 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. That's the fodder that I'm thinking about holding. We'll get into that in a little bit when we talk about some leaks that are coming out. Also, other stuff you should be selling gold rares. They were like 900, they're still 950 coins. Perfect. So 950 coins, you should be selling them. You might be able to get sales at 1,000 coins, actually. It might just, you know, take till the very end and you're not going to sell all of them. Maybe you do a listing at 1,000, you'll sell like 40 of them at 1,000 coins. Disappointing week for the gold rares. I think, you know, like I said, I kind of messed up in not noticing the Matoma objective and how much that actually affected the gold rares with Premier League team of the season. But also, Bundesliga team of the season, yes, the cards were good, but it's just not as hype of a league as Premier League is, so... Not as much of a, uh, not as much of a rise as we would have liked on the gold rares, but still profit. But you know, you should be selling them. Yes, you can hold until La Liga and hope maybe an objective comes up with that. And you know, La Liga team this season is obviously more hyped than Bundesliga. But I wouldn't do that. I would just take your profit and see what other investments we can be making this weekend. I mean, you might just end up buying gold rares again for six hundred and fifty coins. And uh, Bundesliga out of pack investments as well. You should be selling these. I mean, you pretty much should have sold most of them already. Jude Bellingham, uh, Alfonso Davies, Frimpong, all those cards should be on the way out. Alfonso Davies is actually, he's been extinct at 10K. He's slowly coming back on the market. But sell your Judes, sell your Sane, sell your Diabies, your Frimpongs, all those cards, they, they should be gone. We are going into La Liga team of the season. La Liga team of the season out of pack investments. Let's update those real quick. Um, some of the leaks are coming out and you know, they're chilling. Yes. I, I, we, it's the same thing that we've talked about. I am a little bit worried about overinvestment on these cards, but I think, you know, once they go out of packs with team of the season and people are going to want to be doing the La Liga objective where you need to use a full La Liga squad and you, you gotta buy these La Liga players there. I think they're gonna rise when that happens A lot of people do the objective because you get a La Liga team of the season player pack if you get 10 wins It's the team of the season cup. We'll go take a peek at it But still I I know over investment is a little bit of an issue But I think holding is still what I would do like if I had Vinicius jr I'd still hold them if I had a Dermali Militao any of those cards I'd still be looking to hold them and we are getting leaks of La Liga team of the season. So we are starting to see this is it. Leagues exactly one. So you need a full La Liga squad. That's the objective. Um, we're starting to get some leaks and we're, you know, getting confirmed on what cards are going to be getting team of seasons, going out of packs. One of the significant ones that I know a few people were watching was Rafinha. Rafinha is actually going to be an SBC and not in packs. So he's not going to go out of packs. I... Uh, I, I might be a little clapped here on Dembele. I'm breaking even if I sell all of them now. I bought quite a few Dembele's. I mean, you probably saw it maybe in the previous video. I don't know if I fully showed it. I bought quite a few Dembele's. Not like an insane amount, but I'd say probably close to 100. Maybe a little bit more than that. Hoping he gets a team of the season. And there's still no leak of a Dembele. So um, that's kind of crappy. I might be getting a little clapped here. But if there's no leak of Dembele tomorrow on Thursday, that's usually when the full team tends to be released or leaked. If I see no leak of Dembele, I'm probably out of him because I don't want to hold him going into Friday. I know the team of the season objective or whatever, but he's going to be supplied. So fingers crossed EA give him a team of the season moments, but uh, it's not looking too good right now. And that is my take on La Liga out of pack. I think you can still hold them. Uh, I know overinvestment, bit of an issue, but I'm still going to hold mine. I think there is room for profit. Now, 
Uh, let's go into what we were talking about with holding fodder. Let's just take a peek over here. We are already on this perfect. I need to find his Twitter account. We're gonna go here, boom, and scroll down. Where is he at? There's a lot of tweets. Shout out to uh, Manchester City. Congratulations, they are in the Champions League final. Absolutely embarrassed Real Madrid today. 4-0, ridiculous ridiculous embarrassing but uh Bundesliga blah 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 here we go so we talked about daily icon SBCs and um wow they are coming in hot they are coming in absolutely hot I don't know what else can I say Makalele see me the icon Makalele SBC okay cool you know decent card not too shabby oh wow foot birthday Puskas SBC wow that's better than Makalele. Holy crap. Boom. Mr. Ronaldinho. Prime Ronaldinho is getting a player SBC. And uh, these are daily icon SBCs. So I think this guy is saying Ronaldinho is likely coming out on Friday as well. So high rated fodder. I forgot to mention this in the previous video as well. I mentioned the daily icon SBCs and I talked about the bronze rares, but I completely forgot to go and tell you guys about high rated fodder. And I'm kind of mad about that because as soon as this Ronaldinho got leaked, if you go and look at some of the high rated fodder, the Bundesliga team of the season, that's why I was saying, you know, some of them have actually risen the lower end ones because they're fodder and they've actually risen because if you check the graph, Pretty much you can see right around when Dino got leaked to be an SBC. In these cards, he was about 23K, 24, 25K around there. And if we check, he just keeps rising and keeps rising. And he's already 29,000 coins. And I think people are just continuing to buy high rated fodder over and over. And they, they keep buying and they keep buying and they keep buying. And I was hoping maybe it takes a little bit of a dip with rival rewards or marquee matchups. But I, I don't know if this high rated fodder is necessarily going to come down. Because I mean, daily icon SBCs, we have a Ronaldinho on the way, a foot birthday Puskas on the way, a team of the year Makalele on the way, and a foot birthday Coman on the way. There are some really solid icon SBCs coming out, and they're not going to be cheap. They're, and a lot of people are going to do them as well. Like, I, who's not going to want to do a prime Ronaldinho, a foot birthday Puskas? I think foot birthday Puskas is, is five star, five star as well. Let's just take a peek. Foot birthday Puskas. Are you five star, five star? Four star, five star. Kind of disappointing. Million coin card. How much is Ronaldinho? Prime Dino. I don't know how much he is. I know his team of the year icon is one of the craziest cards in the game. Wow. He's come down a lot recently. Oh my God. A few weeks ago, the dude was what? Six mil? He's almost halved in price. It's kind of wild. How's the team of the year icon? Still extinct? <laughs> Crazy. Crazy, but uh, yeah, leaks, a lot of crazy stuff coming. We can also take a peek at some La Liga team of season stuff as we scroll down. By the way, this guy right here is one of the best leak accounts. I don't know if we talked about it in the YouTube video, the previous one. This guy, there's a few others, like FIFA Ultimate Team does some as well. Uh, these guys leak before Sheriff most of the time. Most of the time, they're, they're really early on their leaks and they're really reliable. Anyone else? Not so much. I wouldn't trust any of the other ones. Like people have been sending me a Dembele leak. The dude isn't a leak account. He just, you know, he's spitting out of his ass basically. Anyways, continuing. Rafinha likely to be an SBC. Uh, we got some MLS leaks as well. We have Ter Stegen. We have Glizzy Lewandowski. He talked about the pack code with some, he always tweet, he'll tweet out the pack code and you'll, you'll see it yourself and you can take a peek. Valverde is coming. We, that's what she said. We have Eder Militao, we have Kunde, we have Pal Torres, we have Issy. These are coming, to, expected to come out as objectives. So that's interesting there. Carrasco is getting a flashback objective. So he, this guy's pretty solid with his leaks. There's a few more spread out. Vinicius Jr., Benzema. There's a few more on some of the other leak accounts as well. But that is, you know, La Liga team of season. It's on its way, boys. And that is it for kind of talking about high rated fodder. I got some deals on bid. You can definitely try to pick some of these cards up on bid. Like, let's just take a peek at the fodder prices. They're up, man. It's just kind of tough. I, I would have liked to buy them at a cheaper price, but I was watching 90 overall team of the seasons, 21K or less. If you can do that, 
go for it but it's kind of hard like you can see they're 22k on bids though don't underestimate the bids you you can get some decent deals on bids so 21k or less on the 90 overalls the 91s i was trying to get for 25k or less but you might have to really end up paying like 26,000 coins absolute max though 26k on those and then 92 overalls you're gonna have to pay like 28 i would hope closer to 27 though like i was getting my kobolds for 27k max but the dude's already 29k i'd say try to aim for 27 absolute absolute max though on 92s is 28,000 coins and then 93s that is the last one i would really look at and it would be brant brant is 38 39k he was down at like 33 34 so he's up a good amount i'd say 37k if you're gonna pay 38k i i it's absolute absolute max 38k and i really don't even want to pay that much i'd say try to go for 37,000 coins and that is my take on some of these high rated fodder cards and i know in the past with team of the season high rated fodder it doesn't do good it doesn't high rated fodder is just there's too much supply with it with objectives with packs with weekend league all the team of seasons and stuff high rated fodder does not do good but let's just think about it i think the icon sbc should refresh we'll probably get another big sbc like that on sunday we're getting icon sbcs every day we'll probably get player sbcs as well so maybe like we get dino on friday and rafinha on friday it's a lot of stuff that's probably going to be requiring high rated fodder so if there's any time for high rated fodder to actually have a good chance to rise it would be with la liga team of the season in these daily icon species let me just hit relist all on those and that is that we went over the leaks we went over the daily icon species expected the fodder all that and content to be expected tomorrow thursday is marquee matchups and that's usually it friday la liga team of the season probably ronaldinho and another la liga player sbc and that's it guys any questions comment section down below my free trading discord twitch live stream description down below thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all in the next one peace